So it looks like it's 8 p.m. It mm -hmm. uses mission planner and uh, it's drone code. Oh, it's the Linux Foundation for the DIY drones. Uh, it used to be called DIY drones. Nice. Yeah, so. And that's a good uh, flight controller. I really like the couple of quadcopters that I have that uh, you know implement the uh, the APM. Okay. Eton, uh, quick start guide. Go ahead and just open it up real quick. And these are nice manuals. They're all, uh, you know, they're all colored. Uh, pretty easy to understand, too. Really nice manuals, though, aren't these? Oh, yeah, full yeah. color. Yeah. All right. And this has, uh, you know, longer legs for a uh, gimbal. Like, it's, it's, this is the one that does not have the, uh, you know, gimbal. Uh, there is a two-axis gimbal version of this quadcopter. This is not that one though. This is the one that doesn't have it. Like, oh, yeah. little stickers. And they're already pre pre uh, cut. Oh, okay. okay. White. Yeah. Uh, this is the manual. Owner's manual. Oh, different from the other one? Uh, this is a quick start guide. Oh, okay. Yeah, the quick start guide. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Alright, this is a little different. This is maybe a little more detailed, I believe. But this is up, you know, in uh, black and white though. It's not colored, but. Uh, the only thing I was surprised about this one was the controller. It looks like a little, uh, like a toy grade, but from what I've heard, the uh, gimbals, the you know sticks, are nice. They actually don't feel feel like a toy grade from the the reviews that I've seen. But like I said, this one's been out for a while, so we're not going to go into a lot of the stuff that's already been uh, covered. But the whole reason of getting this is for the upgraded uh, frame, carbon fiber frame. So to give you an extra set of props, uh, I believe these are these are the pins. I believe that have something to do with the little rubbering, the um, you know rubber. Uh, it's like a dampening mount, so you can put a GoPro camera. This oh. is not the gimbal one, though. All right, let's go ahead and take the top of this off. All right, now look at that. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This it uh, comes with this, just a little dampening type mount, so you, you know you could hang a little GoPro on there. But uh, but they do have a uh, two-axis gimbal that I believe is like ninety-nine dollars, I think, extra. Uh, they give you batteries too. They give you triple A's, which the controller takes uh, triple A's. Not a big fan of that, but yeah, more you know, kind of like the double A's better. Triple A. Wow. Yeah, tr yeah. The controller is really small. It looks like a toy grade yeah. controller, but the range on this, uh, you know, like according to uh, Frigant Flyer, was about 800 meters. So, okay. not too bad, yeah. And uh, it's far actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the gimbals feel good. There are, you know, rubber caps here for your thumbs, so it actually does feel pretty nice to be, you know, to look the way that it does. It's not too bad, but the fact that it's a uh, AAA is, is not a I don't know. It just seems funny for a big quadcopter, but we say this is about a this, 250 size. No, this. Oh, no way. 200. Uh, this is about a 350, almost 350. a 400 size quadcopter. Yeah, it's very, very, very large. This is a. This is about the same size as the uh, K Dang K70 okay. that I have. Yeah. Uh. This lights. Yeah, there are uh, lights in the back. Oh. It uh, it's an indicator lights. Looks they should. Like, uh, Hum, you know, Humvee. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah, uh, it has a big battery bay too, and I have a couple of upgraded batteries that I'm going to use for this. I have some uh, 5,000 milliamp batteries because it comes with. Uh, I'll show you what it comes with. It comes with a, a three cell, but it's a 3,000 milliamp battery. I have a couple of 5,000 milliamps that I'm going to use. That's the stock battery. This is the stock battery, and this kind of the unique thing about this is it has the balancing. Uh, plug is is actually built into the actual plug itself you see those two those two wires right there yeah <laughs> so what I did was I'll show you what I end up doing like I said the bouncing plug is actually built in here these two wires are built in to this plug so you really can't use a regular uh, you know regular um, battery charger for this so <laughs> you were kind of stuck with the one that it comes with I'll show you real quick 
I mean, not that it's a bad charger. I mean, I want to be able to use my, uh, um, I've got a high-tech charger yeah. that I'd like to be able to use. So what I did was I bought this on, uh, I believe on Amazon. I will uh, include a link. This, what this does is this converts this back to where you have a, uh, a um, balancing plug, yep. you know, similar to this right here. So this way you can use a regular charger to uh, charge this battery, all right? And something else I want to show is I'm going to be using these batteries as well. This is a 5,000 milliamp with the Traxxas end, and this plugs right in and actually fits right in too because I want to show you <laughs> they're almost exactly the same size. They're almost identically the same size, and this is a 3,000 and this is a 5,000 milliamp. So, hmm. all right, I have quite a few of these batteries actually, so that's what I'll be using. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Just the cord for the charger. And this is the charger it does a uh, two cell and three cell but this is you know like i said this is the one with the um built-in um you know bouncing yeah yeah first time so, i've seen it yeah yeah uh -huh. it's it's different for sure definitely something uh tracks has got going on uh this is the landing gear these are the extended landing gear if you want to run a uh, you know gimbal uh, but I'm not going to be running a gimbal and if you don't have a camera on the bottom You don't need these because it has like some little rubber uh, Feet down here. Oh, yeah, so you really don't even need those, you know, unless you're gonna put a gimbal on it a landing pad. Yeah, yeah So you really don't need these unless you're you know, like I said you're gonna use a gimbal But it's nice that you can though, you know, yes. yeah, and, and that makes it like a low profile Yeah, kinda... low profile kind of sporty, you know a little yeah. more sporty, you know and uh, what else? Uh, comes with uh, a tool for your props. Pretty nice little tool. It's got like a little rubber grip on her. This is for here, for this right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. And that's about it. That, that's about everything in the box. Uh, and we're going to do a little flying of this too. We're going to have to go ahead and calibrate it, get it uh, set up. And I'm going to download the app too, you know. For my phone, so I could adjust the. Uh, I believe this comes with a geo fence, and it's only 150 feet, I believe. Yeah, it's you know extremely short. Uh, you know. Uh, you can change it, though, right? You yeah, can either. You uh, um, yes. Um, not only can you change it, but you could actually com you know completely turn it off too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that's nice. And you don't have to hook it to a computer. You can do it right from your telephone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm that's gonna... nice. Yeah, yeah. And that's it, guys. Looking forward to see the app. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see the app, and I'm looking forward to the build, guys, because you've got to see the frame that this thing is going on. You ain't going to believe it. You are not going to believe the frame. It is really, really nice. And uh, like I said, it's uh, um, courtesy of Peter at acesdeals.biz. Yes, ho. Yep. Yes, ho. FPV looks pretty good. Cruising around a little bit. This is uh, this is in uh filming mode, which is uh, uh this GPS hold basically. A lot of jello though in the uh, FPV. That's just because I have it hard mounted to the top of the. Losing reception. Yeah, a little bit. It's not a very strong. Uh, it's 25 milliwatt. Now. Yeah, 25 milliwatt, and I was kind of close to the ground. If if you go up higher a little bit, it's better, I think. I love this quad. It's a uh, very nice. Very nice quadcopter. Design. Yeah, uh, really yeah. Spotish, and it's got a distinctive. Look to it, right? Look to it, and yeah. you can tell the, between the front and the back because of the red on the front. Yeah, very easy, very easy with the props and and just the shape of it too. It's a very unique shape. Yeah, see how the uh, FPV is better up higher. Yeah, it's yeah. not not. Perfect.
crank it up so much. It's about the most fun uh, GPS quad I've ever. <laughs> I <laughs> know. That's for sure. Never seen a GPS hey, quad. Are we gonna uh, like do that. a test? You gonna return home? Yeah. You know what? That's a good idea. Uh, On that spot there, and right. we're gonna test the GPS return home. Make sure the GPS is all good. She's good. She's rock solid. All right. Bring so it about a little bit, right? Yep. All right. Straight up. And go out? Yeah, straight up, yeah. I mean straight. Yeah. Come on. Alright, so I think that's good. Okay, just stay there for a second, let me okay. get the uh, shot on the sky. It's uh, kinda cloudy. Okay, and then in relations to where we are, that's where we are. Okay, let's you ready? You're gonna hit it? Yep. Okay. It should climb up first. Alright, here we go. Turn home. Okay, is it ascending? Well, it's over 45 feet. I think I read something that it, that if it's over 45 it feet... It just returns back? Yeah, it just comes back. Okay, just about right. And then it should descend. Okay. And after this, uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna actually try it again and see if I could uh, get out of it. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Wow, that was. Oh, right, that's exactly where we took off. Boy, that's exactly. That's where like it's maybe a few <laughs> like a centimeter off. inches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, but, yeah. That's pretty right, accurate. Right by the sander, right? Extremely yeah. Extremely accurate. Exact yeah. Wow. spot, right there. That was like. That was pretty accurate. Yeah. I mean, that's a little more less, accurate. Than less than a foot. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay. Okay. So you were saying that so uh, we can overwrite yeah. the return home. Uh, so it's uh, not a air brakes, and I believe this uh, is the brake button. I believe. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. All right. So we're gonna yeah. try it again. All right. I'm gonna take off. Go ahead and get it spun up. Maybe not. All right. There's speed. You know what? I'm yep. not sure. Once you go in to return to home, can you pedal back? Yeah. Reset it. 
Oh, wait a minute. I know it is. Okay. Okay. That's what it was. My uh, throttle stick wasn't all the way down. All right. So, GPS is good. Get to go out. And this time, uh, can you, like, spin it a bit and see if it returns back the same oh, yeah, direction yeah. and also yeah. lower it so that we can see it climb up. Oh, lower? Okay. Yes, yeah, so we we'll see it climb up to about 45, I think. That's right, so it's it a little bit lower here. Okay. Alright, now, good. okay, let me find the middle. Alright, now I'm going to kind of spin it sideways. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to hit return home and see what it does. Alright, here we go. It's so ascending it, up. So it does climb up, and it, wow, and it turned back. It uh, put the back towards us. Oh, okay, that? so ready for landing. Yeah. Okay. So it did, it did spin back around where the back okay. face was. So it comes back backwards, basically. Okay. Yeah. I think oh, that wait. can be changed okay, anytime. Okay, now let me see if I can get out of it. Okay, let's press okay, the brakes. Yes, I did get out of it. Wow, so wow. now you have full control yeah, of it. Yeah, so okay, so you that's nice to know. So you yeah, can't so get now, out of it. Okay, yeah. good.